Okay, so today's class, we are focusing on balance. And balance, the idea behind this class is that none of your days are predictable. And so learning how to balance outside, learning how to ground yourself and tap into your steady roots, your grounded roots, can bring you stability not only physically but also mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I know that we are not trying to get super emotional and spiritual in these classes, but it does help. So for today's class, I want you to just think about grounding forces and things that bring you back to a place of calm, and stillness, and comfort. We are going to start in Balasana. Child pose, like we started some other classes. Knees wide, big toes together. The crown of your head resting towards the back. And your arms are extended straight out in front of you. As always, if this is too much, bring weight into your hands, sliding your palms closer to your body, allowing your full forearm to rest on the mat. Take a few rounds of natural breath to settle in. As you steady your breath, maybe push into your fingertips or forearms, pushing your hips closer to your heels. Your hips have met your heels. You can walk your fingertips out a little bit further, elongating the space of your back, elongating the muscles in your back. We're gonna do three more rounds of breath here, just intentionally lengthening the exhale. With each exhale, allow your ribs to sink closer or further into your thighs. Last one, fill all the way up, expand the ribs. Complete exhale. Walk your right fingertips above the crown of your head. So towards the center line and walk your left fingertips straight out to the left. Pressing into the inner elbow, opening up the left shoulder area. If this is too much. You can rest your right ear on the mat. Rocking up slightly to tabletop position or one arm tabletop position. You're going to inhale, sweep your left arm high. Exhale, bring it down. Make any adjustments to make this more comfortable. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, right up, left arm down. One more. Left arm up. And this time, you're going to weave your left fingers through underneath your right shoulder. Sink your hips back and rest your left ear on the mat. Should feel a deep stretch across the left shoulder. Inhale, sweep the left arm all the way up. Hips stay low. Exhale one more time, weave it through. If you want a deeper stretch, you can take the double bind by reaching the right arm behind your back. Maybe press your fingers on the inside of your left thigh. As you're ready, unwind, right arm straight above the crown of your head. Left arm comes out to meet right. Deepening the stretch in your traps, down through your lap, upper back. 
Moving to the second side here. So starting by the modified tabletop. Left arm down. Inhale, sweep the right arm high. Exhale, back to the mat. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, back to the mat. Last time, this time you're going to weave it through. Sinking the hips back. Right ear down. Inhale, sweep the right arm high. Exhale, weave it through. Coming back to center here, pressing into the palms, deepening the stretch, maybe pressing into the left arm, left hand and the right hand, opening up those shoulders. And as you're ready, inhale, rise up tabletop position. Scooting the knees closer together so that they're about hip width distance, maybe slightly behind the hips. Adjusting the hands so that your pointer fingers are parallel to each other on the wide edge of the mat, just in front of shoulder line to protect the wrist. Inhale, right arm forward. Box up by your ear. Exhale down. Like a half bird dog. Switching sides. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale down. Two or three more on each side, moving with your breath. Remember from tabletop position, the idea is to keep a nice flat back the whole time. Core is engaged, belly button is pulled towards your spine. It's the last one before we add the legs. Again, make any other adjustments you need. Starting with the right arm by the, by the ear, extend the left leg back. The left leg is engaged. So engage that quad, lifting your left kneecap. Exhale back to center. Switching sides, you can start with the arm or start with the leg or do both simultaneously. These movements should be nice and slow and controlled. It's about balance here. One more on each side, ending on with the left arm. Coming back to center, separating the palms. Roll the biceps forward, tucking the triceps back, gentle bend in the elbows. Tuck all 10 toes under, begin to hover the knees, bare plank. Engage the core, and on an exhale, shift the hips back and high to our first downward facing dog. Pull up your feet as you'd like, maintaining that same upper body hold. Check in with your legs. You want the inner thighs roll back and wide, lengthening through the spine. Let your head hang heavy. Always an option to rest in Balasana and child's pose or tabletop or any other comfortable position. Inhale, lift the gaze between the hands and slowly walk. Step. Thump, float to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, one vertebrae at a time, raising all the way up into standing. Make any adjustments you need here. Last week, we got into sun salutation B. That was the one where we switched. Warrior one, we're going to skip from salutation A and go right to that one. So inhale, sweeping the hands nice and high. Exhale, hips low, coming to Utkatasana, chair pose. Hips are back and low, thighs are parallel, quads are engaged, biceps are by your ear. Remembering to breathe. Inhale, reach through the fingertips. Exhale, forward fold. 
Inhale to halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant the hands, set the right foot back, and then the left coming to plant. Nice and slow for the first round. We're gonna exhale, lower the knees, hug the elbows in towards the ribs, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale to rise, slow cobra. Exhale, twist the hips back and high, downward facing dog. Holding for just a breath here. Your next inhale, set the right foot forward. Ground the left heel in and down. Bring your hands to your hips and your hands high as you're ready. Rise up, warrior one. Hugging the right foot back, rolling the left foot forward. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. Ready the breath. Inhale, reach up through the fingertips. Exhale, grounding the hands, lift the left heel. Set the right foot back to plank. Lower the knees, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale to rise, slow cobra or up dog. Exhale, shift the hips back. Downward facing dog. Holding for just a breath over here. Your next inhale, lift the gaze between the hands, set the left foot forward. Ground the right heel in and down. Bringing your hands to your hips and your hands high and ready. Warrior one, second time. Squaring the hips to the short edge of your mind. Tuck the tailbone under, lengthening through the spine. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, lift the right heel. Set the left foot back, lower the knees, lower the chest and the chin. Inhale to rise, low cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding for three or four breaths this time. Take the time to adjust your posture. Get a good foundation. Solid foundation is that grounded stability that we all need. Bottom of your next exhale, lift your gaze between your hands. Slowly walk, step or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Hips low, hands high. Lift your top side, lower elbows. Inhale, rest all the way up. Maybe a gentle back bend here. Exhale, press the air away. Clasp and interlace your hands behind your back, drawing down through your fingers, opening up the chest, gaze is high. Releasing the bind, sweeping your arms up and your hands. Clasp and interlace, catching your left wrist with your right hand, extending up through your hands, side bend right. Trying to maintain the steady base. Weight is even between the left and right foot. Hips are square. As you're ready, come back to neutral. Switch your grip, second side. Then inhale to reach up, then exhale into the bend. Coming back to neutral press, the air away, take the second class, so wear some on top. Clasp and interlace, drawing down through the fingers, opening the chest, gaze high. Releasing the fingers, shake out the wrists. 
going to do one more sun salutation to be. So you're ready, hip low, hand high. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Walk or step back to plank. Lower knees, touch to the chin of the Inhale to rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Next inhale, lift your gaze. Step the right foot forward, ground in the left heel. Rise up, warrior one. You bend in your front right knee. Squaring the hips to the short edge of your mat. Shoulders are over the hips. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, plant the hands, lift the left heel, stepping back to plank. Lower knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale to rise, slow cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Stepping the left foot forward, grounding the right heel down. Rise up as you're ready, warrior one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, plant the hands, lift the right heel, stepping back to plank. Lower your chest, chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, to rise to your back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for three more breaths. Inhale, lift the gaze, walk, step, or jump to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hip flow, hands high, twist the back. Finishing where we started. Inhale, rise. Come into back foot. Exhale, press the other way. Beginning of an adjustment, you need here. Shaking out the wrist if you'd like. Inhale, hands high. Exhale, dive out. Uttanasana. Taking a nice extended Uttanasana. To release the upper back and the spine and the neck. Maybe swaying side to side. Option to grab opposite elbows, taking ragdoll pose. Nodding the head, front and back. Shaking it, yes or no. If you're ready, release your elbows, allowing your fingertips to meet the mat. Friend through your hands, step your right foot back. Lower your right knee down, untuck your toes. Bring your hands to your hips or just rise up. Anjane Asana, low lunge. Inhale, extend through the fingertips. As you are at left wrist with your right hand, side bend to the right. Inhale, rise up, switch the grip. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, reach up, exhale into the bend. Coming back to neutral, fingertips facing the ceiling. Exhale, planting the hands, shifting the hips back. 
then the left foot. So hamstring stretch here. Splits during your practice, I invite you to take them down. As you begin to stop, and we're going to be here for a few rounds of breath. So get comfy, get cozy. With each new adjustment, some hand legs extend the right leg back. But with each new adjustment, try to draw your shoulder blade down your back, opening up the chest. And the hips back, keeping them nice and square. You have long upper crop for three ball back. Sometimes they're helpful. Inhale, opening through the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bringing weight into the left heel, rounding your foot at an ankle just below your knee. Rise back up, Anjaneyasana. Feel a nice deep stretch in your right hip flexor here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant the hands, tucking the right toes under, lift the right knee. Step back to plank. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale to rise. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your next inhale, lift your heels, roll out to plank. Core is engaged, shoulder blades down the spine. One more full breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Going to the second side here. Inhale, lift the gaze. Step the right foot forward. Lower the left knee down, untuck your toes. Rise up, Anjaneyasana. Low lunge. Inhale, reach up through your fingertips. Exhale, side bend, touching your left foot, left wrist with your right hand, leaning to the right. Inhale, back to center. Hold for the exhale. Inhale, reach up. <laughs> Touching the right wrist with the left hand. Side bend to the left. Inhaling back to center. Reaching up through your fingertips. Exhale, hands down. Shifting the hips back. Extending the right foot as much as you need. Trying to keep the hips square. Let's hear in your practice. Take that now. Bending the right foot as much as you need. Again, each adjustment here, drawing the shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, open through the chest, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise up, bringing weight into your right heel, sliding it closer to your body. Planting the hands, tucking the left toes under, step back to plank. Exhale, all the way down. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down, we're facing down. Continue gentle bend in the elbows and knees. Lengthening through the spine. Oh, 
hopefully, like this is time four now, hopefully this will be easier and more comfortable. Inhale, lift the gaze. Walk up, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, keeping the hands nice and high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Taking a minute to adjust yourself any way you need. Getting into some more of our balance poses, we're going to move to tree pose. If you want to stay at the front of your mat, or ground down. Uh, if balance is an issue and you have a wall nearby, you can use balance a little bit of support. Starting with the left side, you're going to ground down through the four corners of your left foot. So just behind your big toe, just behind your pinky toe, and just the back corners of your heel. As you're ready, lifting the right foot so your right toes can come to a kickstand to your inner calf or up into your inner thigh. Sometimes it helps bring your hands to your hips, bring them to heart center. Finding a steady spot on the floor, your gaze or your drishti is your focus. You want a little extra challenge and grow your branches up nice and tall. Full tree. We'll wait for three, two, one. Slowly, mindfully releasing your tree back to the earth. Shake out your knees. Coming to the second side here, grounding through the four corners of your right foot. Your left toes can come to a kickstand, your left thigh, or sorry, your left calf or all the way up into your left inner thigh. Bringing your hands to heart center. And as you're ready, grow your branches. One side is always better than the other for me. Two, one, slowly mindfully releasing back here. And the transition to eagle pose. So back to the left, playing with different sides of our body here. So for eagle, starting with the left foot grounded, right foot comes up, right thigh crosses over the left. Maybe this is enough, so you can option to just kick stand with your right toes down or double bind by wrapping your right toes on the inside of your left ankle. Hips should stay square to the uh, inside of your mat. As you're ready, let's sink down even lower. Arms come out to a T, right arm under left. Option one, to just give yourself a hug. Option two, backs of your hands come together. Or option three, double bind and your palms come together. Focusing on that steady spot on the floor or the wall in front of you. Three, two, one. Unwind. Hands down at your side. Second side. Grounding through the four corners of your right foot, lifting the left foot. So starting with left thigh over your right. Option one, right toe, left toes come to a kickstand. Option two, double bind. Take a moment to adjust yourself. Remember if you fall, that's okay. That's why this is called practice. Arms out to a T, left arm under right. Option one, to give yourself a hug. Option two, back of your hands together. Option three, double bind, full eagle. Remembering to breathe. Focusing on your stability here. Three, two, one. 
back of the line. Bring your feet back to the earth. Hands down at your sides. Shake it out. Coming back to the front of your mat. Adding on to our practice here. Inhale, kick your hands high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your right foot back. Coming to crescent lunge. Keeping your back knee lifted. If this is too much, always an option to lower back down. Keeping our balance and try and keep that right knee lifted. Bring your hands to your hips. Rise up. Crescent lunge. Again, inhale, reach up through your fingertips. Exhale, catching the left wrist with the right hand. Side bend. It's a little bit harder each time. Inhale up to center. Holding for the exhale. Inhale, switch hands. Reach up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale back to center, releasing your hands straight up to the sky. Holding that deep lunge. Inhale, ribs expand. Exhale, grounding the right, right heel down, opening for your two, back of your mat. Your left heel is in line with your right arch. Hips are level. Left to right. Shoulders are relaxed away from your ears and gaze is over your left middle finger tip. Inhale, press to extend your left leg. Exhale, flip your left hand. Right hand down, left hand high, reverse warrior. Inhale, fill up. Exhale, park wheel the hands down. Bring the left foot. Lift the right toes. Step your left foot back to meet right. Longer all the way down. Inhale, grab low cobra or up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Holding here for three full breaths. bottom of your neck. Exhale, lift your gaze. Set the right foot forward. Make any adjustments that you need before you rise up. Press the lunge side to side. Set that right foot back. Balance is an issue. Heel toe your feet. Heel toe your right foot out to the widest of your back, creating a wider base. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, catch the left wrist with the right hand, side bending to the right. Inhale back to center, hold for the exhale, switching sides. Inhale, lengthen, exhale into the side bend. Inhale back to center, release the hands. Opening to warrior two, second side. So deep bend, maybe adjust the length of your stance. Deep bend in the right knee, hips are level, left to right. Gaze is over the right middle fingertip. Inhale, press to extend the right leg. Exhale, flip the right hand, reverse the warrior. Left hand lower, right hand high. Inhale, extend. Exhale, cartwheel the hands, lifting the left toes. Step the right foot back to meet left. Lower knees, chest, chin, chaturanga, or knees in downward facing dog. And we're going to 
going to add on to our little crepe of lunch series. We'll make sure one more full breath in. Complete exhale. Inhale, lift the gaze. Set the right foot forward. Rise up, warrior one. Or, excuse me, rise up to crescent lunge. Inhale, lift Exhale, opening to warrior two. Inhale, press to extend. Exhale, reverse warrior. Inhale, extend. Exhale, arms back to a T. Reach out and down, coming to triangle pose. Stacking the shoulders, stacking the wrists, your right hand can come to the shin, the block of the back. Gentle bend in your right knee, rise up, warrior two. Heart the hands down, lifting the left knee. Getting any adjustments that you need here. As you're ready, lift the back left foot. Warrior three. Or option two, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. The right fingertips are grounded. Opening the hips, stacking the hips. Yes, they look. This is a tricky balance. Left arm up. Inhale, lift the gaze, lift the Grounding the left fingertips, bring your right left foot up to meet right. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, forward fold, and fold. Inhale, lift the gaze, lift the gaze, lift the gaze, lift the Inhale, extending through the fingertips. Exhale, open, warrior two. Flipping the left palm over, reverse your warrior. Press to extend your left knee. And as you're ready, reach out and down, coming to triangle pose. Back to the shoulders, back to the wrists. Bend to the left knee, rise back up, transition deep bend in the left knee to warrior two. Cartwheel the hands down, framing the left foot, lifting the right knee. Lift off as you're ready, add the arms, warrior three. Or if you wanted that other tricky one, the half moon pose, Ardha Chandrasana. Stacking the hips open. Left fingertips are grounded. Adding the right arm. And pump it over. <laughs> Slowly, mindfully, if you can, come out of that. Grounding the right foot next to the left. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands. Step the left foot back and then the right, coming to plank. Holding for the inhale. And the exhale. As you're ready, coming to tabletop position, grounding the knees, crossing at the ankles, shift the hips back over the heels, coming to a nice, comfortable cross legged position. Pushing the hips forward here. 
can play with some fun poses on our back. So any way you want to get there, roll onto your back. Hugging your knees into your chest, rocking side to side, massaging your low back. If you're ready, find some stillness. Releasing your knees, releasing your arms out to the side, one at a time with both feet together, let your feet find the mat. Extend your left foot straight out in front of you, right knee stays high. Heel toe your right foot in towards your inner thigh or maybe your inner shin. And with control, lower your right knee out to the side. Coming to a supine tree pose. You're welcome to stay here or just like in our standing variation, bringing your hands to heart center and growing your branches. Letting your muscles soften, cool down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Maybe use your right hand to lift your right knee off the mat. Extending your right foot straight out in front of you, draw your left heel in. And with control, let your left leg flop out to the side. Coming to the supine tree on the second side. Try to ground down through your right, through your right hip, your right lower back. Bringing your hands to your heart center. We're growing your branches nice and tall. Come back to heart center or use your left hand to lift your left knee. Draw your right heel in towards your left foot. Pressing into your heels, tuck your tailbone under, bringing a little bit more length, a little bit more contact to your full spot on the mat. Heel toe your feet out to the wide edge of your mat. Arms can come to a T or bring cactus arms. As you're ready, let your knees fall to the right. Inhale, knees high, exhale, knees to the left. A little windshield wiper action here. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, knees fall to the right. Taking two or three more, moving with your breath at your pace. Inhale back to center. Heel toe your feet in towards the midline, hugging your right knee in. You can cross and interlace around your shin or under your knee, or your right knee towards your chest. Shoulder blades are grounded. Inhale, extending the right foot. Quad is engaged. Point your toes, exhale, flex your foot, toes to nose. Grabbing anywhere that you'd like. Inhale, bringing your right foot back to perpendicular to the ground, crossing your right ankle over your left. Opening up to a figure four. If this is enough, stay here. If you want a deeper stretch in your outer right hip, reach through your figure four, clasp and interlace behind your left knee, drawing both legs in towards your body. One 
slowly unwind, uncross your right foot from your left. Second side, inhale, left leg up, fasten behind your left thigh and point your left, your left foot. Playing with their stretch here. Maybe drawing your left quad closer to your body. Inhale back to perpendicular. Exhale, figure four. <clears throat> Pressing your left ankle over your right knee. If this is enough, stay here. If you want a little bit more, clasp and interlace behind your right thigh. Slowly coming out of it, unwind, bringing both feet to the midline, and allow your knees to fall to the side. Good time, bound angle. Butterfly stretch, like we used to call it in classical practice. Bring your hands to your belly or off to a T. As you're ready, use your fingertips to bring your knees back to center. Walk your feet back out to hip width distance. Lifting your feet off the mat. The knees are at 90, hips are at 90. Inhale, arms overhead. Probably dead bug, so we're going to get a little bit of core action in here too. So you're going to inhale, reach up through your fingertips. Exhale, right arm over your head, so right bicep by your ear. Extend the left leg as you're ready. Trying to maintain contact with your full back on the ground. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch. Inhale back to center. Exhale, switch. So right heel down, left arm down. Two or three more to each side. Last one. Finishing with the left arm. Back to center. Plugging the knees into the chest for Apanasana, good time child pose. One more little massage. Letting your feet come to the mat, hip width distance, arms are at a 45 degree angle, out away from your body. As you're ready, moving to bridge pose here, inhale, pressing into your heels, thighs are parallel, straight line between your knees, your hips and your shoulders, slight lift, of your chin to protect your cervical spine. Slowly one vertebrae at a time with the tailbone last. Return the hips back here. Pressing into the heels, extending the feet straight out in front of you. Grabbing a blanket or a pillow or any other prop that you might want for Shavasana. Final relaxation. And deepen the breath here. Starting out, I want you to place one hand on your belly, one hand on your chest. Just feeling the natural rise and fall.
optional eyes closed. Begin to deepen the breath. You should feel your belly lift or your chest lift and then your belly. And with the exhale, your belly or your chest and then your belly. Each inhale, drawing the breath deeper into your abdomen. Try to focus on your exhale. Trying to make them twice as long as your inhales. On your next inhale, maybe count to four. Slow down your exhale to eight. See if you can feel your heart beating in your chest. Last one. On your next inhale, can you bring it to five or six steps? Six counts in. And your exhale to 10 or 12. Maintaining those lengthened breaths, bring both hands to heart center. Trying to feel your heart beat. If you have trouble feeling your heart beat, you can grab your pulse on your neck or your hip. As you find it, settle into that feeling. Settle into that steady rhythmic beating. Pulse is life, your breath is life. Yoga is about linking movement to your breath. The break away from the stress and the craziness and the uneasiness of our everyday jobs. Knowing that we can come back to the steadiness and stillness of our pulse and our breath. One more full breath in. Inhale, reaching your arms up nice overhead. Look in the palms, take a good morning stretch. Bringing some wiggle to your fingers and toes. As you're ready, rolling onto your left side using your left arm as a pillow. Pressing into your right hand in front of your chest to help rise back up to a nice comfortable seated position. Optional eyes closed. Bringing your hands to heart center or resting on your chest back to that steadiness, that pulse. Remembering your grounding points, remembering your stability and remembering your strength. Hope that you have a wonderful, calm rest of your day and enjoy the weekend. Stay warm. Namaste.